Gotta go fast. Hello Sonic Movie 2 fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris and we got the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog sequel, Sonic 2, and oh my god, it looks like they are trying to make the best video game movie ever made because this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Like, can you believe we almost lived in a world where the redesign could have ruined the chances of this movie existing? They are throwing in so many Easter eggs and references to the video games. So what I'm going to be doing here for you guys is I already went ahead and did my trailer reaction, so now I'm going to be giving you my trailer breakdown, pointing out easter eggs you might have missed, little hidden details in there from previous Sonic video games as well as to what could be happening in this movie, but I'm gonna need you Sonic fans to leave me your opinions down below. What did you think of this trailer? How do you think Knuckles looks like? How do you feel about the sound of Idris Elba? And just really quick, the costume head that came with my Sonic outfit is just not doing it for me, so I'm gonna order myself a different head. I saw they were only 20 bucks on Amazon, so I was like, oh, that's giveaway time. I'm gonna be giving away five Sonic heads to people in the comment section so be sure you like subscribe share this video around because it helps and i'll pick five people at random to get a little sonic head all right so with the opening of the sonic the hedgehog trailer here it opens a little similarly to the way we started off the first trailer for sonic the hedgehog with sonic here stretching you saw me recreate it at the beginning wait till I recreate more stuff from the movie and I have to point out the visuals in this film already look great like I like nighttime Sonic here who is acting like a superhero out and about in the world one of the first Easter eggs we get here is we see he is still fond of chili dogs something he did try out in the first movie and is iconic with his character going in to stop a couple of bank robbers in the city here now this is what donut lord James Marsden's character has been telling us here in the voiceover is that Sonic has taken it upon himself to be sort of the superhero of the city and has stopped stop crime any chance he gets but because he's still a kid at heart he's a little reckless here and there and ends up making mistakes that do get people hurt or cause damage to the city and you know what i'm loving this superhero way for sonic is headed especially with the silhouette of him in front of the moon that might be a reference to shadow the hedgehog and that's not the only reference we get here from there we cut to some of the shenanigans that sonic has been doing since we last saw him in the house of tom and maddie where he's just building stuff i do like also how this version of sonic has a mohawk and a bandana but from there we cut to an egg in outer space that is headed towards Earth. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is Dr. Robotnik's death egg. Now usually the death egg in the Sonic video games looks a lot more like the Death Star, but its purpose was still the same. It held a lot of weapons for Dr. Robotnik that were powered by a Chaos Emerald, and in further shots of this trailer that seems exactly what's going on here. But before we get to that here we do have a couple of army people in the city of Green Hills where they are still located at the time and this is isn't the same army we saw in the first movie this is actually the gun army we see the logos here on the chest of the people and gun stands for guardian units of nations these are a fictional secret organization within the sonic universe here that is most prominently in sonic adventure 2 although a lot of the sonic community will reference them as idiots since in sonic adventure 2 they mistook sonic the hedgehog for shadow and that is where another clue of shadow the hedgehog comes in the shadow and the gun organization kind of go hand in hand but it seems like this organization organization will be brought in to kind of take care of the blue speedster along with also now finding out about Robotnik. They're kind of like a third party that just wants both of them in jail. As this tornado is being formed in Green Hill Zone using some green electricity that is most likely coming off the Chaos Emerald that we'll see later in this trailer, we can see here Dr. Robotnik popping out of what I'm calling his death egg because it has so many of his little robot weapons in here, some you might recognize from the Sonic video games because although we have some returning egg pods, we have other ones that are in the shape of buzzer bombers that do show up in several of the Sonic video games that do change their color here and there, but their design is usually the same Is these two little bombs on the side of them with a body that resembles a wasp, and I'm loving that they brought that into the movie. As well as we have to talk about the more accurate suit that Dr. Robotnik has here that has shades of red, black, and yellow that very much resembles Dr. Robotnik's video game suit. But we see one of the first things he does when he arrives to Green Hill Zone is go after his partner partner, aka Agent Stone, who works at a latte shop named The Mean Bean. If you remember in the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie, one thing Agent Stone was good at, other than being the partner of Dr. Robotnik, was making lattes. And it seems here like he opened up his own in Green Hill Zone to kind of keep an eye on things, waiting for the day that Dr. Robotnik would come back. Now, the name Mean Bean is a reference to a Sonic video game, and that's just a nice little Easter egg they threw in there. But probably the big shocker moment for a lot of diehard Sonic fans 
is our first look at a Chaos Emerald in the Sonic universe. And with this being the Green Chaos Emerald, it is most likely the Master Emerald, which does make sense because the Master Emerald was tasked to be guarded by Knuckles, and he does show up in this movie. Other things, though, I want to point out about this location where Dr. Robotnik is getting his hands on the Chaos Emerald for the first time, you can see an owl off to the distance there along with its wings. The only other owl we currently have in the Sonic movie franchise is Longclaw. It's been a long theory of mine that Longclaw might still be alive out there because you know the rule in movies. If you didn't see the body die, there's always a possibility it could still be alive. And now we're seeing here that Longclaw's ancestry or her family somehow is connected to the Chaos Emerald, and with Dr. Robotnik coming in contact with that, I wouldn't be surprised if he also found Longclaw. Bringing us then to what was the end credit scene for the first Sonic movie with Tails, who is going to be voiced by Colleen returning for the role, coming to find Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, little Tails here doesn't look too different from the way he did in the post credit scene. There's slight little tweaks made here, but I think he still looks fantastic. Immediately though, we are treated to an Easter egg most notable with Tails here, and that is the plane Tornado that in the video games is owned by Sonic, but he he lets Tails pilot it for longer distance travel. I doubt in the movie they'll make it that Sonic owns this plane and maybe Tails just steals it, seeing that it's the closest thing around him. I also like how you can see a lot of iconic Sonic symbols on this plane. This also seems to be the first time that Sonic and Tails will be meeting each other, exchanging names. But we find our furry little friends going after a gigantic weapon that Robotnik has planted in Green Hill Zone. Now this might be the bigger death egg that I was talking about about that might more resemble the Death Star like in the video games. It looks like a pretty gigantic weapon for its size and with the green lighting we could tell this is being powered by a Chaos Emerald and again going back to the video game Dr. Robotnik's Death Egg was powered by a Chaos Emerald. Now here's something I want to bring up that brings us a reference to other Sonic video games letting us know that this isn't just adapting Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because in a blink and you miss moment we see Sonic running through what is a temple with some swinging spikes and one of the first time we see saw swinging spikes in the Sonic video games was for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. With Knuckles in here being that his first appearance was in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, it looks like they're kind of combining the two and adapting both Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 into one movie, and I'm really all for that. It seems to be working out just fine here. So it's kind of awesome to see them recreate these levels, and even lava here that has been known to be part of other Sonic video games. We also get a shot here of Dr. Robotnik who's about to get slashed away entering the same temple, so it could be that them putting this Chaos Emerald in this temple could lead to bigger and more power for Dr. Robotnik. We get a quick shot here of Maddie talking to her cousin Rachel, who seems to be in a wedding dress. That is one of the plot details that we heard about Sonic the Hedgehog 2, that Maddie and Donut Lord will be off on vacation for the destination wedding that Rachel will be part of, so we won't get that much human interaction. We'll be focusing a little more on Sonic and Tails, which I'm perfectly fine with. If anything, they're just a portal ring away. In the adventure that Sonic and Tails will have in this movie, we see it does lead them to a cabin in a blizzard where I am loving the outfits they have on. Very adorable. Bringing us to clues of other Sonic video games where one of the first times Sonic was snowboarding was in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But I think a lot of fans associate this version of Sonic snowboarding with Sonic Adventures. And if you notice, Sonic doesn't actually have a surfboard but instead is looking to be using a broken part of one of Dr. Robotnik's egg drones. So that's pretty awesome with just how much they're bringing in to the video games and adapting it here. Like, this is what I mean when I say this is the best live action video game of all time. We also can't forget about the fact that Robotnik is in one of his little egg pods. It's the Eggmobile H. I'm kind of really hoping it has that attachment here in the movie because I would love to see Eggman just run around with that little wrecking ball. But now we know this wasn't even the money shot of the trailer here because they go ahead and tease us the battle that Sonic will have against Knuckles, voiced by Idris Elba, and everything about this just looks absolutely perfect, okay? The visual effects are stunning, you have rain pouring, and the voice that comes out of Knuckles being Idris Elba. Do I look like I need your power? Very threatening, and I love it. You can tell Knuckles is going to be a powerful foe for Sonic and Tails in this movie. As far as it looks like, he crashed the party of Tom and Maddie's house, who are most likely not home at this moment and have already gone on vacation to the wedding for Rachel. But boy, they're not going to be happy with the destruction that Knuckles has left behind. For a lot of people who are confused why Knuckles would be working with Robotnik, that's how the relationship started in the video games, because Knuckles the Echidna in the games is tasked for protecting the chaos 
Chaos Emerald, the Master Emerald, and Dr. Robotnik goes ahead and uses that to the manipulation of Knuckles, telling him that Sonic is after it, he's a bad guy, so we need to work together to protect it from him, and that's why you see Knuckles here fighting Sonic and working with Robotnik. We obviously know by the end of the movie, he'll most likely see his ways and become a good guy, but there's one more thing that Sonic has to get over is, don't forget, if Longclaw is still dead, she was killed by Echidnas, and I think even if Knuckles wants to go good, Sonic is gonna have a really big grudge against Knuckles, and that's why I'm saying Longclaw still being alive could be the thing that maybe brings them together. Who knows if Knuckles maybe did save her back in the day. Also, part of the history is that Knuckles is supposed to be one of the last Echidnas. I wonder if Robotnik got rid of the rest, because it definitely seems like he's been traveling to different planets before he came back to Earth. But that's all the things I could catch from the Sonic 2 trailer. I'm gonna need you guys to give me your opinions down below. What did you think of it? Is there anything in here you caught that I might have missed? Any theories to what could be happening in the larger Sonic world? Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Meow Sonic. Take care.